So, Chris, let's say you are tracking calls from ads. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are tracking calls from website using Google Ads conversion code. There is a report inside of Google Ads that I wanted to share with everyone uh, that a lot of people don't know about that will show you all the calls you're getting. So if you're wondering, hey, am I getting these calls? Are we answering these calls? How long are they lasting? If you go to Google Ads and you go to the top and you go to reports and you go to predefined reports and extensions and then call details, not call extensions, but call details, you will see a report uh, that shows you the calls that you're getting from the ads, whether it's a call only ad or a call extension call. And you will see the calls you're getting from the website if you have the Google calls from website conversion tracking running. And you get the uh, you get the phone number, you get the duration, you get the time the call came in, and you get if the call was answered or missed. And mm, so what I've been great. seeing with some clients, Chris, is they're running at many different times of the week, but they're missing calls at the times you would expect they would miss calls at, sometimes during lunch, sometimes yeah. during, uh, during the overnight hours. And so you can use that information to then um, – play around with your call extension scheduling, and then also play around with your scheduling if you rely heavily on calls. So you just get a lot of insights about the calls you're getting. And I think the biggest thing I'm looking for there is duration. Uh, if you see a lot of 15 second calls, I mean, mm -hmm. what's that doing for you? But if you see a lot of five minute, 10 minute calls coming in, uh, you've got a good thing going with those calls. Yeah, it. This is, this is, a, this is a great point because this report, you might see a bunch of zeros, you might see a bunch of nothing. If, as we mentioned in point number one and two, you're not doing any call tracking. If you do not have conversion tracking, if you don't have a call extension added, if you don't have calls from websites set up, you're gonna see a bunch of zeros, even though maybe you do have a call extension added, but you're not tracking it as conversion. You know, Google's not, when I, I don't think we've made this clear, but when you don't have it set up as a conversion, Google does not change the number out because they have no reason to change the number out. The only reason that they would change the number on um, a, a call extension or a call from website is when uh, they need conversion information about that. Yeah. So uh, that is how they understand how long the call was and things like that because it's going through their system first. Their system is the proxy by which it forwards to your phone number. So... Um, really important um, to uh, to that, but that's a great report. Glad you mentioned. And, and it. just just imagine what you can do with it. Like imagine there's two pest control companies out there, like in Dallas, and they're both running like two thousand dollars a month. And one of them goes, "Yeah, I'm going to track calls from ads," and even they track calls from website, and they leave their duration at the standard sixty seconds or something like that, mm -hmm. and they never or or maybe they went in and a manager had made a bad decision and put it at like 20 seconds or something and they never think about it again. They or the automated bidding strategy they're running might see a ton of conversions from calls from ads and calls from website. A lot of those calls might be 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 50 seconds. Imagine this. Yeah. Competitor calls that are coming in from broad keywords or weird stuff like yeah. uh, pest control phrase match, but then people are searching for like Home Depot or products. Products, and, yeah. Yeah, products, yeah. and they click mm -hmm. the call extension accidentally or something and whatever. So imagine that person, and all they do is they look at their conversions. And then imagine doing great, doing great lots of conversions, <laughs> yeah. or, st or a, a bad manager that's just looking at conversions. Mm -hmm. And then imagine the other advertiser who goes deeper and look at that, looks at that call details report and looks at their, number one, when they miss calls and go, oh yeah, we do miss calls 12 to one because we're out for lunch. And um, yeah. I've just found over the years that the only way I can keep employees is if I let them eat during the middle of the day. Oh, and so he lets it. them, he lets them go out to eat and they have a burger, but those calls are coming in and they're missing those calls. So he, yeah. number one, stops advertising from 12 to one or turns off his call extension from 12 to one. And then he looks at the duration and he goes, well, a lot of these are coming in under five minutes, a lot of them, but some of them, are coming in over five minutes. And I know that if someone's on the call with my employees for five minutes, we've got that job. And say they put their threshold at five minutes, then they start bidding for those conversions that are actually five minutes. Just imagine how much better they're gonna do with Google Ads versus other company. Yep. Even if the point. surface data kind of looks the same, conversions, good search terms, whatever. So you can really um, 
really get a lot of information there. 